Namaste creative yogis, how you all doing out there? So today we're going to go through this lovely mindful painting practice to help us connect to that feeling of spaciousness in our minds and our bodies. So what you need today is some paper, obviously, uh, some black paint, this is acrylics, some white paint, this is actually just poster paint, kids paint. I like working with things that are, aren't precious, you know. And two colours of your choice. So we've got, I've chosen red and blue, but you can choose whatever colours you want. Okay. Obviously some paint brushes and some water. And obviously somewhere to put your paint onto. I just use paper to pour my paint. <clears throat> but you can use whatever you like. Um, some kind of beverage and water of your choice. Have a little drink whenever you need to. And of course your lovely candle, which helps you to connect to your sacred self. And just taking a moment to tune in and set your intention for your practice today. So my intention of teaching this is to show you a little bit about spaciousness, helping you to find that spaciousness in yourself. So let's get started. So just pouring out some black paint for yourself. And we're just going to cover this paint, this whole page with black. So not being precious at all, just going for it, you know, just really just enjoying working with black paint. It's actually very satisfying. I enjoy it. I enjoy the marks that it makes when you add water in. I'm just filling in this whole page with black paint. So the imagery here is of the night sky. And we know how vast the universe is. It's infinite literally infinite. So we're going to be painting a starry sky. So this is our dark sky overhead. So all I've done there is just add in some water just to give a different kind of feel to the, to the brush strokes. There's no need, you know, just, just play. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, the less perfect, the better. Okay. So there we go. So there's my starry sky. Okay. So what we're going to do now is add in the stars. <coughs> so we need some white paint for that. In an ideal world, you just wait for this to dry and then add in the white paint so when you've got lots of time on your hands you can do that but today just taking the white paint and just making little dots on the surface just like we see stars in the sky but just dots of light little dots wherever you feel inclined to put them. And in fact, I'm going to show you a technique that I learned um, from an Aboriginal gentleman. You take the other end of the brush and load it up with the paint and you make your dots in that way. This is how the Aboriginal people make their paintings, Aboriginal paintings. It's working with these little dots So just wherever you feel you want to put these dots, these are stars in the sky. Maybe you know like how stars group together in little constellations and make shapes? Maybe you want to do that. Just 
stars in the sky. You know how some stars are larger than others? You can see them all clearly. It's the tiny little things. Just playing with this idea of infinite space, working with infinity as we look at it from above. It's beautiful, spacious painting. Fabulous. Now, we want to add something into this, which is our connection with beauty, what beauty means to us. And so we're going to think about coming up with a totem for ourselves. A totem animal or a symbol. So it's what is significant for you. So think about it for a minute. So for instance, maybe you're really obsessed with bears. At the moment, you know, it's the, the wolf moon. So maybe wolves are significant to you at the moment. Or cats, or butterflies, or dragonflies, or bees. Um, owls is a big one for a lot of people. Lotus flowers, I'm quite obsessed with lotus flowers. So what would be your totem symbol? Okay. Just think about it for a minute. And we're going to put that into the painting. Okay. So getting your paintbrush, and we're going to outline this symbol with white paint. Just going to draw an outline. So I'm quite obsessed with butterflies at the moment. I've just seen them everywhere. So that's going to be my symbol. So I'm just going to do a simple outline. Butterfly. See how I, I, I dropped some paint there? And that's good. That's what we want. We want a happy accidents to happen. Don't want to be precious about things. So as you can see, it's not perfect, and the whole idea is not to be too perfect about it. Now we want to get our a different colour, get the colour you like, and we're just going to really make that quite a watery, uh, watered down. Consistency because we're just going to do a wash. Change my brush. Um, do a wash and put it into the paint. It's yeah, a good place to put it. Just adding a bit of color to our infinite sky, you know, how when we see paintings of, or, or photographs of this, of the, the, the universe, beautiful sky over here, you know these beautiful shades of pink and purple in this space, I want to add that in. dry enough yet to do too much. You get the idea. Alright. And you can obviously add in layer after layer and really build it up so you start to get that lovely feeling of infinite space. So with our totem symbol, what we want to do 
is start to connect with abundance. So again, just get the end of your brush and dip it into some white paint and start to fill in your totem symbol with these little dots. I really like this. You can be here for hours, honestly, just working with these little dots. When I was doing this workshop, this lovely gentleman over at Mossman, just the next town over from me here, I was there for about two hours just creating this really beautifully fine-tuned painting with all these little dots. <clears throat> so spaciousness, you know, thinking about spaciousness in our lives. The thing is, we're so busy, aren't we? We're so busy doing, 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 doing. Finding time to just be is, is quite a challenge. Because in that moment of just being, from an external point of view, we're not doing anything, are we? We're not being productive. We're not making money in that moment. We're not cooking the dinner for other family. We're not looking after our children. So why would we do it then? You know, what's the point of it all? If we carve out some time for ourselves and start to understand the value of creating space in our lives to just be, whether that's practicing our yoga, our meditation, or working with art in this way, this, this soulful art practice, what we do is create this beautiful space, the space of infinite possibilities. It's this beautiful alchemic space where we are dropping to this place of timelessness where, you know, anything is possible. We're not thinking about what we're going to be doing in an hour's time or our usual concerns. We've dropped into this timeless space, this, this flow. And we could be here for hours. We, we're very, very happy and content just to be working with this lovely energy. And it's actually, we're very silent in ourselves, actually. And it's in that lovely space that inspiration arises. So you'll have those eureka moments. Oh yes, that's what I should be doing in my business. Oh yes, that's how I should um, solve the problem I've got with my eldest son. That kind of thing. Because you've allowed room for inspiration to arise. You've allowed space for you to be able to listen to yourself, to your inner wisdom. And that's when you start to see the value of doing this stuff. Because of course, you come away from taking this time to work with this stuff, wiser, restored, renewed and energised. You've got much more energy to give to other people because you've taken the time to give to yourself. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's just the act of being in the space. So, you know, carry on filling in your lovely symbol. You can use different colours. You know, you've got your colours there, so you can play with colour as well. That inspires you to do so. I might add some colour in in a minute. So working with this, and as I say, this is very meditative, just working with these dots. 
But what we're doing is connecting to infinity. This idea of infinite possibilities, abundance, and abundance. So I'm just going to change out. Get some blue in. So I accidentally did that, but what you can do is you can flick as well. Add some flicky kind of stuff into the space. The key thing being not being precious about things. Just let a creative process unfold. Actually really enjoying this. It feels it actually feels quite magical to me working in this way. see you could do this for hours get caught up in it 10 million dots everywhere different colors beautiful okay so I'm just going to add in a different color just so you can see what it looks like with different colors I'm going to go for my red So I think it does look for me quite quite primal and fundamental, which is what we're looking for, this idea of connecting to infinite space, to something timeless. I like that. It kind of looks a bit like gems on the wings of a butterfly. So there we go. So you obviously can keep working with this for as long as you like. Just working with fine tuning what you've got there, making it look the way you want it to look. <coughs> Be there for hours. But that just gives you an, an idea of how to play with this idea of creating space for yourself, space to be.